Hello and welcome to our Music Podcast show, which is Get Candid with Chitwan. Here with me is Mr. Raj Singhal, co-founder and CEO of Footprint Childcare. Hello, Raj. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Chitwan? I'm great, Raj. So my very first question to you: the Parent Connect app is a standout feature at Footprint. How does this app help parents feel more connected to their child day-to-day experience? So essentially, Parent Connect app. came into picture after talking to parents so one of the biggest pain when parents look at a early child care center is that how do you how do i trust what you're saying so we said we'll install cctv cameras in the premise and we'll give you live access to it so through parent connect app parents can actually watch the live cctv feed once the cctv feed was done parents started saying that why don't you give us important updates about children how much they have eaten what activities they have done how much they slept etc so we started providing live instant updates so then we started adding things like uh, you know paying the fee or what 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 is the food menu or how is your child developing all the curriculum related reports on on the app all the photos etc so the parent connect app is essentially an app through which parent interfaces with footprints and they can uh, you know raise a ticket they can see their child they can get updates so uh, it helps them immensely i i i think this is so meaningful so my next question to you safety is a key priority at footprint right can you tell yeah. us more about the measure you have implemented to ensure a secure and nutrient environment for the children sure yeah as you said security is the paramount uh, concern in that age so the first thing we have done is we have made the physical infra child secure so the floorings are cushioned flooring the okay. corners are covered all the edges that are there have been covered if you look at the door the, the, there is a door wrapping so fingers can't get in the door which is the typical injury that happens so on the infrastructure side that's what we have done we have also ensured that there is only women staff that are allowed inside the premise so the chances of any abuse are uh, uh, significantly down and all the staff that can get into the center they have to be bi- biometrically verified so they can only get in after putting their fingerprint so not not anybody can just walk into the center uh, similarly all the staff is background check uh, for their background and then there is a medical check up also to Uh, ensure that there is no communicable disease that staff is carrying and then there are regular trainings uh, to sensitize uh, the staff and how to deal with children how to communicate with children uh, so those are the things that we do on uh, uh, security the the one of the latest thing that we have started doing on security is we have started using uh, ai so what we now do we analyze the cctv feed through a ai algorithm and we are able to detect instances when the there is no supervision adult supervision of a child so that ensures that we get an alarm the moment there is no adult in the room uh, because that's when the injuries typically happen so we are able to detect that we are also able to now find out how many times the cleaning has happened in the room for how long so we've been able to do that with 98% accuracy that allows us to ensure hygiene at our centers also so nice So my next question to you: The high scope curriculum is sun- central to your educational psychology. What makes this curriculum so effective in fostering active learning and a love for education? Yeah, so uh, I mean, in early years, you you will hear a lot of uh, curriculums uh, which are there, and there are a lot of players who use their in house curriculum. We wanted to go with something which which is which is a proven curriculum because. in early years i mean till about 6 years of age 90% of brain development happens so we wanted to go with something which is proven so high scope uh, is the only curriculum in the world which is doing constant research and they have have lot of data which says that children who go through this curriculum end up uh, doing significantly better so they have data which says that their divorce rate is lesser their employment rates are better their criminal records are better better so and this is a us based curriculum they have been doing this for last 70 years their research has been peer reviewed by some of the scientists at some of the top universities so we went with that curriculum uh, of course we have indenized that curriculum but you know that's the curriculum that we use because that's the most scientific curriculum that exists in the early years 
so nice so my next question to you nutrition plays a vital role in child development how does footprint ensure that children receiving balanced healthy meals during their time at the center right so all the the entire uh, food menu uh, is designed and governed by the central team so the menu has been designed by a nutritionist and we ensure that all our centers are following those guidelines because fundamentally we believe that whatever habits you form eating habits you form in the early years go a long way if you start consuming a broccoli or a beetroot in your early years then you'll develop a taste for it and most likely you'll consume that as you become older so the idea is to start feeding those kind of vegetables those kind of healthy nutrition to our children so you will see in our menu things like a beetroot paratha uh, or a broccoli mm -hmm. pasta those kind of things so we we don't use any maida no breads no biscuit uh, of course no soda etc at our centers it's a completely healthy uh, menu which is which is of course essential and forms the habit so goes a long way in ensuring health so every children love the food you you guys provided them they like the food yes yeah, so, yeah basically so what happens is children uh, i mean if a mother wants to feed a beetroot paratha at her home most likely child won't eat but the moment they're they're seeing another child eating it yeah uh, then, then the chances of them eating that food becomes much higher so in that group you know the acceptance of that healthy food becomes much more and once their taste bud buds are developed mm -hmm. uh, and parents actually parents also sort of give the similar sort of food at home the chances are that uh, child will end up eating healthy for entire uh, life because normally the belief is as a child you can feed them biscuits and chips etc as parents we don't realize if we feed them that that the taste bud uh, that then then they have so they are gonna be spoiled for life and which is what we're seeing we're seeing a lot of obesity in teens uh, these days so i think uh, yeah food does play an important role very true so true that you're talking about children and their eating habits of course my next question to you footprints has received numerous award for excellence in early education how do these accolades reflect your compliment to quality and what do you mean for the future of the brand right so you know i'll be brutally honest we we are, we as a company don't honestly believe in lot of awards because our i mean unfortunately what has happened in india is that most of the awards are for sale uh, you know so we are very clear that if somebody is giving us award uh, because of our great, good work that we are doing because of our contribution we are happy to take that award but if we have to spend a penny uh, to get that award we are not doing that we are very clear about that so that's why we have some award but we don't have like tons of award and and if, I mean, if if you get a genuine award then it's a time for us to reflect back and actually sort of compliment us ourselves that we've done a probably a very decent job so okay. that's what awards mean but of course you know i think we've just started i think there's a long way to go still of course why not so as footprint continues to grow and inno innovate what your vision for the future of early childhood education in india and how do you see footprint leading the way so yeah i think uh, in last 10 11 years that i have been in this industry i think to some degree things have evolved i think we were the first one to introduce uh, cctv feed in the in the ecosystem there was a lot of resistance but i think more and more players are doing that and that transparency is required given the child uh, child say so i think that with the trend is getting said i think there's a lot more focus on the curriculum going forward i see uh, the penetration of child care would increase significantly in, in, in india i mean in india in about only about 5 6% children go to preschool in that age if you look at western countries the penetration is as high as 85 90% so i think as we move forward next 10 years i see this 5 6% increasing to maybe 15 20% because this is a very critical age and as families are becoming more and more nuclear i think the need for child care would also increase so that's how i see the industry going forward and i think the overall standards uh will be elevated because i think there are a lot of international players getting in and players like footprints and few other players are increasing the standards of the uh, child care industry so i think others are 
will have to follow to survive. So I think that's what is happening. So nice. So with AI and advanced tech becoming increasingly common, how do you envision the future of early childhood education? And what role do you see footprint playing in the landscape? Yeah, so I think I don't, uh, I am not a big favor of using technology, uh, especially the screen for young children. I think a lot of research has said that uh, that is not the most beneficial thing. In fact, that can harm children. So we don't use any, uh, you know, screen based technology for children. But uh, we do use technology in the background to create uh, lesson plans for children or, uh, as I said, for ensuring more safety and security, auditing that CCTV feed or ensuring our lesson plans are getting delivered or not. We can monitor the audio of the CCTV feed and see how much the compliance was. Uh, so I think, unfortunately, in childcare industry worldwide, technology is not being used that much right now. So I think, you know, you know, I, I and two of my founders come from technology background. So I think we have that unique combination of understanding technology and child care. So I think uh, we want to continue introducing more and more technology, but all that technology is either parent facing or to actually improve the quality of the uh, center in terms of security, hygiene or curriculum delivery. So that's what I think will happen going forward and people who will, uh, will adopt will continue to flourish. People who who want it or will, will probably have a little difficult time surviving. Uh, and I think we're, we're probably one of the uh, companies who are using technology quite a bit and will continue to use that. That's so good. So my last question to you, what are your plans for the next stage of growth for Footprint Child Care? And how do you plan to continue innovating in the education space? So, uh, you know, we're, we're growing at a pretty, pretty rapid pace. We grew about 60% last year. And I think for next five, six years, I can see we're growing at a similar pace, about 50, 60% every year. Uh, and, you know, becoming a sort of a pan-India company with uh, 800 centers in, let's say, next four years. Uh, we're right now at 150 centers. We're essentially making childcare available to every child in a metro in a tier a maybe a few tier b cities that's what we're looking uh, uh, to really do uh, and i think uh, as we spread uh, in these cities i think there are a lot more uh, players coming in a lot more local players will have to increase their standards so i think it'll eventually be beneficial for the entire ecosystem uh, teachers will get paid more parents will have a better quality child care available in their neighborhood uh, and I think a uh, lot more people who want to get into this industry, especially mothers, they will be able to get a lot more satisfaction out of pursuing their passion. So I think it's a win-win if you're able to execute our plan. Of course. Thank you, Raj. It's been truly inspiring to hear how Footprints is shaping the future of early childhood education through innovation. It's reassuring to know that the leader like you prioritizing both education and a care at such foundational stage. Thank you for Get Candid with Chitwan. Mm -hmm.